Hey everybody, thank you for coming to join me for some yoga today. Um, we're going to do a 45 minute flow because it's going to be pretty hot next week. Well, I'm saying next week. <laughs> for the time that I'm filming this for, we know it's going to be hot. So you've got 45 minutes because... <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Anyways, yes, today... Um, you probably won't need any props, just whatever you need to get comfy in Shavasana with. Um, if you have any injuries, please, please, please look after yourself. Um, we don't want any injuries at home. Um, other than that, let's get going. So of course, we're going to start lying on our back. My favourite way ever to start a practice, lying down. So I'll just sit up so you can hear me, but you get yourself comfortable, wiggle yourself into a comfortable position. If you need a little stretch before you get going, then that's fine. Yeah, and maybe when you come to lie down, you just have a nice big breath in and just sigh it all out. <sighs> Yeah, and then, as we always like to do, check that there's no tension around your jaw. Let that soften. Mm -hmm. and allow the root of your tongue to soften back and down into the throat. And of course, let your eyeballs get really heavy. Let them fall back into your sockets. And if you haven't already, just close down the eyes. So we close down the eyes just to let the brain know that we are switching our focus right now. We're switching to a more internal focus. And that's kind of one of my favorite things about yoga is that it really focuses on looking inwards, um, observing and working with our inside world which then helps the outside world too. So looking inwards, I just want you to start to notice how your energy feels today as you lie down. And try and do this without judgment. It's different every time we land. Notice what the energy in the body feels like, but also what your energy in your mind feels like. And then maybe just check in, is there a feeling or a mood that you can notice in yourself right now? And take a moment just to accept whatever it is that you picked up on. We welcome everything onto the map full acceptance and it is all open to change. Let's bring our hands onto our belly and just start to become aware of your breath. You can just breathe in and out through the nose if that feels okay for you. And maybe you've noticed that just by bringing some awareness to the breath, our body just wants to take a deeper breath. It normally just automatically does it. So start to go with that. Start to feel your breath steady a little bit. And with your hands on your belly, maybe you're imagining sending your breath down into your hands, feeling that rise of the belly. And just feeling the softening of the belly as you exhale. So just staying with this again, no judgment. Just feeling that rise and fall. And the breath starts to feel a little bit smoother. Maybe a little bit more enjoyable. And 
And then while we're here, just breathing, I just want you to think about what yoga means to you or how yoga has affected your life. You know, not just the physical part that we're about to do, but all the rest of it, all the intentions, all the kindness, all the, you know, all of it. How has it affected your life? So maybe you've started to do this and probably realized that there's been some really positive effects within your life for yoga. I know that's what I found when I started to check in. So for today's practice, all I want us to do is just conjure up some gratitude towards yoga. You know, this practice is at least 5,000 years old and it came all the way from India to us. Like how lucky are we that we've, that this amazing practice has fell into our life. So we're gonna move with the attitude of gratitude towards this practice, just for all of it. Because, you know, I think it's important we do that. And I'll be having different questions as we go, different cues that'll help us keep coming back to that. So yeah, that's our focus today. Let's just have three more steady breaths here. Maybe feeling some of that gratitude towards this practice already. This ancient practice full of wisdom we could study it for lifetimes and we still wouldn't know it all. It's amazing. One more breath. Lovely, guys. Okay. Softly and steadily from lying down, you're just going to draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a squeeze. If it feels good, there's a rock from side to side. And we'll keep this nice, flowing, steady breath going as we're here. And I think I want to give a little shout out to whatever guru it was 5,000, 10,000 years ago, who realized that if we steady the breath, we can steady the mind. I think they need a shout out because that is genius. I think it's a woman. <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, start to hold behind the thighs and then we'll rock up and down the spine. Give yourself a few rock and rolls. And maybe as you're rocking and rolling, you can sink your breath with these rocks. Lovely. And then after this next one, we're going to take a big rock all the way through the spine and land with our heels planted down into the ground. Beautiful. Okay, sweep your arms out and then up to the sky. Take a huge breath in. And as you breathe out, bring your hands down to your heart. And I want you to lean back and curve your spine really round. Let's do that a few more times. Just get the breath involved. So inhale, lift up your heart. That attitude of gratitude as we're going. And then ah, breathe out and curve. A few more like that. Inhale, rise. Exhale, really, really round. It's like we're just kind of pressing the on button for our center, just waking it up. Breathe in, lift. Lovely, breathe out and give. Round. Nice, this time we're just gonna inhale to lift and then keep it a nice lengthened spine. Hinge back and just bring your hands to your heart. Ah, beautiful, deep breath in here. And if you'd like to, pick your feet up and off the ground. Smooth out that breath, help steady the mind. And can we have that kind of gratefulness, even when we're in a pose like this, that's really got a love-hate relationship. <laughs> One more breath. <sighs> Lovely, okay, this time, plant your feet down into the ground, bring your hands behind you, and as you breathe in, just press the feet, spread the toes, and lift your hips up nice and high, open up the shoulders. Um, we've just got a few breaths here, you can be still, or if it feels good, sometimes it's nice to rock forwards and back really gently, 
maybe side to side. I like to have my neck engaged here, so kind of just gazing forward. You might feel your deep neck flexors switch on. Is the breath still steady? Heart still filled with gratitude for this practice. Lovely, take one more inhale, really press the floor away. And then carefully, carefully lower your hips down to the ground. Well done, crossing over the ankles. Let's roll over onto our shins and come into a child's pose. Knees nice and wide, toes together. Sit the bum back, take a huge breath in here. And breathe it all out. <sighs> Starting to look forward with the forearms on the ground. We're going to pull our heart forward towards the forearms. Press the hands into the ground, lift up into your cow pose. And then take it the other way, round, kid, hollow out the front body as you move back to your child's pose. So keeping that going, we're snaking through the body. We're oiling up the spine. And as usual, make this your own. Find a way for the breath to really kind of make this feel even better in your body. How would you do that? And if there's anything you want to explore movement-wise, you're totally welcome to. This is your practice. So allow yourself to enjoy it. Nice guys, this time as you kind of sphinx pose your way forward, lift your heart up and then just kind of find a flat back and start to wiggle into the side of the body a little bit. So wake up the sides, the movement gets a little bit more free, a little bit less linear. <sighs> Breath still nice and involved. And if we think about trying to move and express gratitude as we move, like really feeling gratitude in our movement towards this ancient practice, how does that change the way we move? Or how does it change the way this movement feels? Beautiful guys, keeping this kind of free wiggliness going. Ah, oh, let's find our downward facing dog. Toes tuck and same thing in your down dog, make it your own. Play around with wiggling, moving, easing your body into it. And the same thing goes for your hand placement. Find what works for you. You know, some people like them close together, a little bit wider, turned out. Ooh, whatever works. Breath is still nice and full and free and feeling good. And our body is literally filled with gratitude, even to a down dog, <laughs> which I know is another love-hate relationship. Let's love it today. Let's thank. Thank the yogis, the gurus for our down dog. <sighs> Lovely. And then step your feet back a little bit further than usual. And we'll breathe in and roll our way through to that plank pose. And as you breathe out, bend your knees, wave your spine all the way back. So this is yours to play with. So just start waving your way through it. And the breath somehow supports this movement. So you can play around with that too. How do we move filled with gratitude? Does it change anything? We're gonna take one more roll through. So one more wave through the spine, really enjoy it. Woo, builds a little bit of heat. And then this time we're gonna make our way to plank. So roll your way forward. Fingers spread really nice and wide. Starting to drop your hips 
just by like a couple of inches and then feel your heart pull forward, lift up and draw the shoulders back. So we're not dropping into our up dog. It's a really lifted top of the spine up dog. Ooh, it's hard work. So when I think about how yoga has affected my life, something that has benefited me so, so much for the better is lion's breath. I think it's a true savior. So let's have three here. Really deep breath in, you can do it. Open up your mouth, stick out your tongue. <sighs> lion's breath it out, two more. No one can hear you, so go for it. <sighs> if you can go cross-eyed, last one, please do. Breathe in. Ah, lovely. Press the floor away. Whoo, hard work. Hips lift. Soften back down, dog. Well done, guys. Let's get soft in our knees and walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat and just hang over in a nice, whoo, heavy forward fold. You can really feel the weight of the head, the weight of the ribs. Maybe there's a little bit of a sway. Maybe there's some things you're grateful for about yoga here in this pose. And then if it feels good, we'll release the shoulders. So interlace the fingers behind the back and just hang. One more really full breath. Softening at the elbows, really, really carefully let the hands just drape down to the ground. Let's bend the knees nice and deeply and roll up slowly. <sighs> Rise into stand, giving your shoulders a good old roll up round, drop them down the back. And just standing in your version of Tadasana. So we're feeling nice and strong and open here. There's not too much tension in the body. Like I said at the start, beautiful part of yoga is this inward focus. So just see if you can notice a shift in yourself already. From the moment you came to lie on your mat to right now. And while you're doing this, just let your whole body have some steady breath. Full breath here. And then blink the eyes open. Let the light in like it always comes in. And as you breathe in, reach the arms up to the sky. Take a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. And really get length in your waist and then lean all the way over to the side. <sighs> and just have a breath here. So again, we still got this soft, heavy jaw. We don't need the tension in the face. And we're just having a breath to wake up the side body. <sighs> Lovely. On your next inhale, reach away even more until you rise yourself up to the center. Take it over to the other side. Hold the left wrist. Lift up and out of the waist and then lean your way all the way over. <sighs> Soft jaw, a couple of breaths here. Feeling the feet press down into the ground to rise you up to stand in this time. Hook your thumbs, take a breath in. As you breathe out, feel your feet spread and ground into your mat and then lift up and out. The fingers dive back and your heart is just kind of bursting out the front of your chest. It's kind of moving forward and up. So the lower back is pretty neutral and this heart opener is just in the top of the spine. Take another deep breath in. Whew, let it go. Actually, let's do one more with lion's breath. Breathe in. Lion's breath it out. And then slowly, slowly rise your way up. Back into the center. Well done. Dive your way down. Forward fold. Hang heavy at the back of your mat just for a second, just to let that release. Ooh, let the weight of the head drop down. And then take a deep breath in, heart pulls forward. 
And as you breathe out, let the hands melt down. Walk your way forward, really carefully crawl your way into your plank pose. Nice, so spread the fingers a lot, of course. And even in our plank pose, can there be an attitude of gratitude <laughs> somehow to yoga, to this ancient practice, to those, to those, to those gurus up in the mountains who dedicated their lives to this, and it's managed to get to us. How lucky are we? Let's take a breath in and start to turn your gaze to the right, and then maybe just look back towards your right foot. If you need to lower the knees at any point, please do. Slowly come back into the centre, gaze to the left and then look back towards the left foot. Nice, one more time each side, stay a little bit soft in your knees. Look after your lower back if you need to change anything. Woo. Back into the centre, soften your knees, downward facing dog, well done. Take a huge breath in and just let it go. Lovely guys, okay, the right leg is gonna sweep high. Reach it back and reach it up. Take a huge breath in and then squeeze your right knee in towards your nose. Try and really round your spine and then just tap your right foot as high up to the top of the mat as you can. Whew. Just tap it and then reach that right foot high. Let's do that two more times. So knee to nose, tap the foot, Whew. and then right back up. It's really hot in here. Last time. Squeeze, tap the butt, right back up. This time we're sweeping it to the top of the mat. Help it up if you need to, wiggle it up. Okay, from here, you can have your left leg lifted or you can lower the knee, totally up to you. Wherever we are, we're gonna spread and ground through the right toes. And as we breathe in, we're gonna sweep our arms out to the side, just like we did at the start. And then breathe out and bring the hands down through the heart space. A few more times like that. Really reach. Feeling grateful for this posture that makes us feel so strong as we go. One more time like this. Nice. This time you're breathing in to sweep your arms up. As you breathe out, hands to the heart. See if you can tap that left knee towards the ground, tiny tap, and then reach it back up as you breathe in. Just take two more like this, find your rhythm, sink it with your breath. Nice, and this time as you tap, we hold. Whew. Hold it here, close down the eyes. You'll feel some wobbles, the body will figure it out, it'll make it work for you, just what you need to adjust. What are you grateful for to yoga in this pose? <sighs> well done, blink the eyes open. Lift your prayer high, hook your thumbs. And the same as earlier, we're gonna lift the heart to the sky just for one deep lion's breath. Breathe in. You can do it, let it go. <sighs> nice, carefully melt the hands down towards the ground and we're gonna step the left foot all the way to the top. Woo, well done. Take a half lift, breathe in. And then breathe it all out and soften, soften, soften. Oh. Arms sweep to the sky. As you breathe in, lift up, rise up. And as you breathe out, hands to your heart. Well done. Take a full body breath in. Full body, let it go. Okay, one more time like before, breathe in to reach up. This time we're holding the left wrist first to lean over as we breathe out. Get soft in your knees, take a breath in. Lift and lengthen and then go a little bit further, breathe out. Well done, slowly press the feet into the ground, rise up, switch the grip and take it to the other side. Deep breath. Beautiful, rise your way up. Hook in our thumbs, little bit of a heart opener. Shine that heart up to the sky. Take a big breath in, reach further. Open up that heart space. And then rising your way up to the center, we dive down, forward fold. 
heavy head, really soften. Take a halfway lift, breathe in. Plant the hands down into the ground, step straight back to your downward facing dog. Deep breath in down dog. Enjoy this down dog. And then for this next side, let's remember, how does our movement change if we fill ourselves up with the attitude of gratitude towards this practice, even when it hurts us? <laughs> Let's sweep the left leg high, breathe in, reach up, squeezing your left knee towards your nose, round and curve and then tap that foot as far up as you can, tap and lift it high. You got two more times, find your own rhythm, your own breath. Whew. Well done, up to your third one, lift the leg high and then looking forward to sweep that foot all the way to the top. <sighs> Take a second here, knee can be lifted or you can lower it. We've got no ego today, so <laughs> if you want to lower it, if you need to, please do. When we're ready, we breathe in, arms sweep out, feel that kind of power you get as you sweep them out and up and as you breathe out, your hands come down to your heart. <sighs> Two more like that, breathe in. Breathe it out, moving with the attitude of gratitude. One more time. Okay, if you want to take it further this time, we breathe in. And as you exhale, you're tapping the right knee down. Woo. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out to tap. After this one, we're going to hold, guys. So lift up. And then lower down, hold in here. Feel your toes spread and melt down and close down the eyes. Really feel this pose. And then again, what can you be grateful to the gurus, to everyone who helped pass this practice down to you right now, this pose? What are you grateful for in it? Well done, blink the eyes open, reach up. Hook in the thumbs, we dive back, we lift our heart, we shine it up, a deep breath in, a lion's breath out. <sighs> Melting the hands down to the ground, we step the right foot forward all the way up to the top. Oh, take a breath in, halfway lift, and then fold all the way down. This time just hang heavy in your forward fold. Let yourself have a little bit of a sway again and really feel this forward fold, really be in it. <sighs> no unnecessary tension. Release the hands down to the ground really carefully and you're just going to roll up slowly, slowly through the spine. And when you get there, reach your arms out, lift them up, lift your heart and bring your hands down to your heart again. Let your whole body take a breath in. Let yourself soften here. And that gratitude feeling again. Maybe you're going into specifics of things you're grateful for, grateful to yoga for. Maybe not, maybe you're just feeling it. Both are good. And then again, we let the light in, blink the eyes open. <sighs> okay guys, so a little bit of balancing. With your hands to your heart, just tip your weight over into your left foot. Lift your right knee up and into your chest. Nice. And then you're going to cross the right ankle over the left leg, fall into your figure four. Maybe this is enough for you. Maybe this is good today. So our legs worked pretty hard there. So we're releasing this right hip a little bit by just softening into that. If you're at home and you want to hold a wall, that's great too. If you want to take it a little bit further and have a bit more of a release, then interlace your fingers behind your back again. Reach the um, hands back to open your chest. And then if it feels good, you might also want to fold forward. 
and breathe into this. So it's quite a nice way to release the hips and the shoulders at the same time. Remember this is a balance and for all sorts of reasons our balance can be off. So stay kind to yourself. Ooh, most importantly, it's another bit of yoga I love. This idea of never being so hard on yourself when you're not perfect. Kind of staying present, moving on. Kindness. I love it all. One more breath. Nice, slowly, slowly. From wherever you are, Ooh, rise your way up. Right knee is going to come into the chest again. Left arm up by your ear and then bring that right heel to your bum, holding on to the right foot. Coming into a little bit of a dancer's pose. So we haven't done huge heart openers today and this is a little bit more in the lower back. So please be careful. Stay kind to yourself. Breathe into it. And again, maybe as you go here with the steady breath, you're taking your mind to that place of gratitude again. Maybe there's something specific you're grateful for to yoga here. Maybe it's just a feeling for one more breath. Whew, well done, slowly rise your way out. Take a second just to stand on both feet, to roll the shoulders and just to take a breath in. Feel that in the body. <sighs> Let any tension that you don't need fall away. <sighs> and then run to the other side. I am grateful for the other side. It evens us out. <laughs> so maybe left knee into the chest. Maybe, no, left knee into the chest. <laughs> Cross over your ankle over that thigh and then take a nice deep bend. <sighs> A little release for that hip again. Hold the wall if you need to. If you want to come further, we're interlacing the fingers behind the back, opening up our heart, and then softening forward. Yeah, and the toes of the right foot aren't gripping, they're kind of spreading and grounding down. And we're breathing into it. Is there any gratitude to this practice that you want to express here? <laughs> it's a little bit more challenging here, but I'm sure there's something. <sighs> slowly, slowly. Ooh, well done, guys. Rise your way up. <sighs> left knee into the chest, right arm up by your ear. Bring that left heel to your bum and hold on to the foot. So you want to actually hold on to it from the inside edge of the foot. And then when you get there, you're kicking that foot into the hand and you're just shining your heart forward, lifting up. Sometimes it's nice to stay soft in the right knee joint. And then you get this smooth, full breath going again. Shout out to the guru who thought of that. Genius they are, genius. One more breath. Well done, slowly. Whew. Bring your way out of it. Standing on both legs, have a little shake if you need it. Come to stand at the top of your mat. Powerful, strong, grounded in your Tadasana and let your whole body have a big breath. arms sweep to the sky. Breathe in and reach up. Soften your way down into your forward fold. All the way we go. <sighs> Take a halfway lift when you get there. Breathing in. And then plant your hands down into the mat. Let's step straight back to our downward facing dog again. <sighs> Taking a roll in vinyasa. So breathe in. Heels lift. Roll through to that plank. Same as before, hips drop just a little bit. Heart pulls forward and up. We lift three lines, breath, breathe in. Two more in your own time. I could not feel more grateful for these, even if they make us look a little bit silly. One more. Press the 
floor away lift your hips high and then soften your knees and round all the way back into that downward facing dog really really enjoy it Feeling that attitude of gratitude to yoga. <sighs> Teaches us to be present, to be kind. Teaches us how to recharge and refuel so that we can keep doing the good work off the mat helps us have compassion, to look inwards, to study ourselves so we can grow. It's just an amazing, amazing practice. So yeah, keep that intention of gratitude to the practice as we lower our knees down to the ground. Whew. We'll sit the bum back and then we'll rock over to one side. I hope you're as hot as I am. <laughs> Half an hour we've done, <laughs> it's boiling. <laughs> bring your feet out in front of you and bring the soles of your feet together, knees fall out to the side. Um, your feet are pretty far away from you, so pretty long, yeah. And then take a nice deep breath in, lift your heart. And as you breathe out, you're gonna tuck your chin to your chest and really round your way forward. So you're folding, you're really curving the spine. We're releasing the whole back line of the body. The muscles in our back have worked pretty hard today. Taking those heart openers into the top of the spine is really strong for the back. So give it this care, give it this time to release. Find your steady breath. And with the inhale, you might feel the body just lift up a little bit as it expands. As you exhale, can you release even more tension from the body? Can you get heavier? any tiny micro movements here like a little sway of the head really really slowly feel good then feel free to take them maybe feeling that gratitude here Knowing that soon we all get a shavasana, and I know we're all grateful to yoga for them. But yoga can also just teach us that it's okay to slow down, that it's okay to look after yourself, and I love it for that as well. Take five more heavy, full breaths here. After your fifth breath, you're going to rise up really, really slowly. If the head needs a little bit of help from the hands to lift, go for it. Whew, I know mine does. Give the shoulders a roll. Bring the hands down behind you and make your way to lie onto your back again. So come on down to the back. Oh, feel good. Bring the knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, maybe a rock. 
you know, we've done this at the start of the practice, so if this one feels any different to that one, maybe observe that. And then when you're ready, we're dropping the knees over towards the right. Maybe gaze into the left if it feels good. And again, wiggle your way into a position that works for you. These twists are so different for everyone's body. If you need any pillows under your knees, go for it. If you have a variation you like, go for it. And if you notice that there's anything that feels like a, you know, a pain that shouldn't be there, it's not like a stretch, it's more like a, I don't know, like that ugh, pain. If you notice that, then change something, change the positioning of your body, work out what this needs to be like for you right now. And then when you find it, five smooth breaths again. Every exhale releases more and more tension, allows you to settle into the ground, fully supporting you. is soft, eyeballs are heavy, you don't need any effort right now. Beautiful, slowly, slowly the knees are coming back up into the chest. And you're just gonna wiggle your way into this twist on the other side. Again, make it your own. Look after yourself. <sighs> Feeling that steady breath. Feeling the body and the mind just kind of settle, soften. more breaths on this side. And then slowly, slowly lifting the gaze back up to the sky and undoing the twist. We're going to make our way into our Shavasana, so if you feel ready to go straight into it, please do. If there's anything you need to make it really comfy or any last movements you know you need, go for it. And the teacher said to me the other day that um, if we feel like we need a bit of grounding, a bit more peace, take a Shavasana lying on your belly with a pillow under the hips can work. Um, so I did it and it felt absolutely amazing. So if you want to take your Shavasana on your front, please go for it, try it out. So I'm grateful to hear figuring that out. And when you get into your Shavasana again, your whole body can soften. If you've been working with any breath work, the steady breath, the deep breath, just let that go now. Allow your breath just to be. And we can let go of our intention. We've planted that seed. And now we can let it go and just let Shavasana do what it needs to do. 
two minutes now just to be Gradually, you just start to feel your breath again. And if it feels good, you might want to give yourself a huge deep breath and a big sigh out. And then gradually bringing in movement into the body wherever wants to wake up wiggle, wriggle, come back to life, knowing that the attitude of gratitude, it's all in there, <laughs> it'll probably stay, and you can take it off the mat if it feels good and feels like it could be good for you right now, let's all slowly meet just in a little ball on our side. So just curl it up for a second. Really soften into the ground, feel nice and heavy, supported. This ground doesn't go anywhere. I know at the moment there's all this change and stuff going on. And honestly, sometimes just lying on the ground <laughs> is a great tool to calm ourselves. Press the floor away, coming up to a comfortable seat. Hands to our heart, closing down the eyes. <sighs> Taking a second to say thank you to yourself for practicing today. We know that it is so much more than this movement and it trickles off into every aspect of our life. So you're not just practicing for you, but everyone you kind of meet and come into contact with too. And of course, one last time, we thank the ancestors of yoga, the forefathers, the foremothers, everyone who helped and allowed it to be spread to us. Let's bring our thumbs to our third eye space. Bowing the chin down to the chest in gratitude. We're full up of it now. <laughs> well done, everybody. <sighs> Thank you so much um, again for coming to practice. Have a lovely week, weekend from whenever you've done this video. And I'll see you all again soon.